<laughs> that was so awkward. Hi guys. This is Stephanie. And that's Durrani. And we are... We're back. Yeah. It's been back. a couple months. It's um, been six months since we did our last video. We fell off a little bit, but we're back. So, um, subscribe. Or whatever. Subscribe and click on the bell icon. So for today's video, we are going to the psychic. Again. Yes, we're going to go see a psychic. Or... Well, it's not really a psychic. We're going to get our tarot card readings. So it's less scary because I'm scared of psychic. It's a psychic. And now we're on our way to... The Wait, it's not a psychic. It's yeah, it is a psychic. Uh, my mom's against this, so if mom, if you're watching this video and you're scared for me, don't be. <laughs> my mom too. Um, <laughs> we're just gonna. And my mom will think it's like the devil. <laughs> no, my mom really is gonna be like praying for me after this. She's gonna be like, "What the fuck happened to you? I taught you better than this." So we're excited. Well, I'm nervous. I'm really nervous. I'm probably gonna shit my pants when I'm there, but whatever. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, so I'm wearing this lip gloss right now, and it's like a lip plumping one, and it burns. As if she needs bigger lips. It just looks nice. Like the gloss Which is like. Which one is it? It's the two faced one. Which face? Do we sit right or left? Just, I don't drive. I don't know. Perfect. I can find ice cream on the way. Yeah. Um, we're going to take a little tiny ice cream break because I have been craving it. I have the biggest sweet tooth. So do I, but I yeah. think hers is bigger than mine. Yeah, mine is way worse. And like, I have to control myself, but like, it's like. People are addicted to a lot of things like drugs, alcohol. We're smoking. addicted to sugar. Yeah, but like it's a real thing. Drug I mean, choice. I've if you guys Google it, you'll know that sugar is addicting. So we're drug addicts. So we have. Oh my god. You know, caffeine is addicting too. Yeah, but I don't like caffeine. That gives me anxiety. I did not know I was a drug addict till today. Ronnie almost crashed right now. No, I didn't, man. Sure. <gasps> See, she. Uh. I'm not wearing my seatbelt. Put your seatbelt on. Why would you say that? We're gonna get a ticket if the police are <laughs> watching us. Shout out the cops. Give me. I'm so good at parking. Boom. Just keep rubbing it in my face. I can't drive, so. And I for sure cannot park. Parallel. Don't know what that is. Okay, okay. bitches. We're gonna go eat ice cream and we'll talk to you later. Bye. So nice you're a psychic. It's a good question, right? Yeah. Um. I, I would say that the umbrella of this work is, is like psychic work. Um, I am a, a tarot reader and an intuitive. And okay. You read energies. I, I, I do read energy and, and I am able to go in and, and, and change energy as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and that can be healing work. Where if, if someone is like feeling like a pain or if they're having a headache or something where one goes in and and, and changes that so yeah. that she can fix our headaches. <laughs> we get a lot of headaches yeah. from boys. Just kidding. <laughs> I just read a book right? yesterday. It's like <laughs> a headache of your body telling your brain it's stupid or some dumb thing like that. I want you to hold the cards, okay. right? Mm -hmm. I want you to just hold them and let the Stephanie energy just soak in. <laughs> just take this time to just to center. We ask that the cards speak to your highest good. Alright, we can pass them back. <clears throat> Alright, Stephanie, I want you to choose three cards. Just three. Just keep them face down. <clears throat> Ooh, the star card, right in the center there. Stephanie's the star. And, and I like to see the cards that you choose for yourself as, as looking at your core. Alright? Mm -hmm. And and actually, you know, this this one of the six of pentacles, when it comes to relationships and all, it's about looking to be like a, an, an equal partner, mm -hmm. you know, like where one is, is not like, you know, having to be the, the total center or just the taker, right? Yeah. It, but for for a, a meaningful relationship where, you know, you, you're a, a good partner. The, the king of, of swords is the communicator. The queen of swords is the, the creative. You know, it's like there, there's so much sensitivity and intuitive energy, creative energy that the Queen of Cups possesses. And, and the, with the Cups, that, that's where one goes out and, and looks to connect deeply with others, to, to create change, uh, connection, spiritual connection, you know, with, with other people. The King of Swords is, is the communicator. But, but it's also about being taken seriously, too. It's yeah. like you want to be seen as, as a player. 
you know, as, and, and not a play up. <laughs> the Ace of Wands is all about a new opportunity that's coming up for you. It's how, uh, you know, there's there's someone who's, who's looking to uh, I'm, I'm just sensing that there's there's someone who's who's looking to uh, uh, kind of elevate uh, you know, your uh, persona, your you, right, in the world, like a, a little bit more uh, out there. And um, again, it's interesting because the page comes up, the page of of cups. The pages are all about being the messenger of, of giving voice. The the world card is is the you know it's, it's like that elevation of, of being seen out out in the world, right? And and so there's there's this opportunity that's coming up, and and the, the Ace of Pen of, of Wands is about the summertime. It's it's allowing you to have an opportunity to expand. Hilarious. So I'm having a hot girl summer. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's that's coming coming very soon. And I, and I feel it's it's someone who's who's like. Uh, you know, a guy. I mean, it, it feels like it's it's male energy that is is looking to come into uh, life. Yeah, who's who's going to kind of elevate that? Oh who's wow! An opportunity to, to to take it up a notch. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I'm 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 just like, what in what way could that be? Like in work or in like, is it love? Like that's what I'm like okay. thinking. All right. right so now. so choose a card. I mean, a lot of cups are coming up, right? Yeah. And, you know, the, the, the cups, they are a representative of, like, the emotional self, of okay. love and all. But, but I want you to choose a card. See, an, another cup, right? And yes. and, and certainly, you know, in, in that that oh, relationship wow. area, mm -hmm. uh, you know, where where your, where your feelings are, are involved. Yeah, I mean, certainly there there's that energy that, oh, is, that okay. is coming up. So... I mean that's that's a good question. Yeah. It, because the the King of Swords, again, that's a part of you that is as an individual. You're looking to be out there in the world. You're looking to be seen. You're looking to be yeah, taken seriously. Yeah. And, and it's not just as a as a girlfriend. Or yeah. Wife exactly. Or whatever. It's, it's as a someone who has something to say mm -hmm. in the world who who influences others. Yeah. Myself to get close to a guy or to talk to guys. Right, that's and it. and that's what keeps you stuck. Yeah, a hundred percent. I mean, when it comes to that area in my life, but like I don't really mind because that's not to me an important area right now in my life. Right. I, I see you definitely, you know, in that that cup energy. That's that's heart centered mm -hmm. energy, and and if if we allow for uh, a vulnerability within ourselves, that that deepens our relationships with others. Yeah. You know, it creates that, that intimacy that is, is necessary in, in partnerships. And, and, and I see where, you know, it's like you, you're, you're, you want that at your core you know, to, to be a good part. Photo, so you have a, yeah. a record there. Because then... I literally, my phone's dead because you already know why. Yeah, we can switch. Oh, yeah, sick. Thanks, Ben. I want you to hold the phone. <clears throat> Just allow for the, the energy to soak in. Oh, yeah. Ask that the cards speak to your highest good. <clears throat> and have you choose three. That is so different from <laughs> Stephanie's. Well, I mean, look at that middle card there. This is a blue psychology. Right? It looks like Yeah, it's like, you're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> you know what you look like? You look like Dumbledore, no? I do not a town. I do not. No. So, so this that, that card is the most powerful card in the deck. Oof. It's a card of, of where <laughs> one... Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, one has the awareness that, that they have all the tools, the necessary tools to manifest what they want. Again, I do. Ma I manifestation, that. right? I'm really strong at manifesting <clears throat> anything that I want. And... It, you know, with that that ability, it's like it's it's really interesting that that these two cards, because one is is like letting go of the past, right? Mm -hmm. So that you're not 
that, so what it is that you're manifesting towards the future is something that is um, is is not connected to to the past. It's not connected to like out of revenge or anything like that, right? Where you've been hurt and it's like, well, I'm going to get this person and, and where we manifest something painful for someone else, right? So, this means magician. Basically, I'm like a magician. <laughs> like, I'm like, manifestation basically is like magic. Right? And, and, and this is like, like I'm a witch. Yeah, and, and what is magic? Magic is um, power. I want you to choose a card. Here to learn. Looking at, at what it is. The Dark Lord. Wow, the Devil card. <gasps> oh my God! Oh, it's a fuck up. Yeah, yeah, the Dark Lord. I believe the it. Devil card. <clears throat> She's Middle Eastern. Oh no! There she goes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh. Okay, stop. <laughs> I'm scared of it. Don't be scared. He'll explain okay, it. Explain to me. The devil <clears throat> so you're a witch devil. There, there's a devil inside all of us. Yeah. Okay, so so what these these cards are? This is this is cards of of um, where one is able to uh, both of those cards the the initiate the uh, six of swords right. These two are cards of of going on a, a new adventure, something that it's like the that you're you're maybe not uh, have a plan for yourself, all right? And and that doesn't mean that it's a, a bad adventure at all. It it means that uh, it's outside of your realm of control. And what right? what does the devil have to do with it? The the dark lord card, the devil card, is a card of of control, right? Oh. It's a card of, of where if we seek to control something, mm -hmm. then then it's going to end up either controlling us or it's going to go sideways, right? It, it, it can be it can be a hard lesson, right? Mm -hmm. And and what these these other cards are saying is to is to let go of of like the, the need to control something. Okay. And, and 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 to allow for it to unfold. To to, to not put a lot of effort into looking to uh, use your power of again the magician, right? To to have things come out a certain way for you. It's it's about the allowance of, of things that uh, can be you know quite quite good actually. They're they're asking you to, to take a leap of faith within yourself. You know that that you don't have to you know just have a like a mental projection of like how it has to turn out and then if it doesn't quite go that way, then you like explode into like you know. Well, I say when things don't go my way, I like go crazy. <laughs> yeah, I can go loco. You can go crazy. Map go loco. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, am I gonna have kids soon? Because <clears throat> I'm 30 years old. You don't. Know. So, so you said, am I going to have a kid soon, right? Yeah. And it's swinging in a no position, right? Okay, great. <laughs> well. And it's over. It's over. Perfect. We're back, bitches. So, we just got back from the psychic and... <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. Um, it wasn't crazy. Honestly, let me tell you guys. She got the my... devil card. Okay, yeah, but let me tell you guys my experience. It was... <laughs> I would, if you guys are gonna, like, would I recommend you guys going to a car, tarot card reading? Maybe. I feel like whatever you believe comes because true. Because I didn't under, yeah, it's called manifestation. So, if you believe in whatever they tell you, it's gonna come true. If you don't, it won't, whatever. But honestly, this wasn't the ones that, like, tell you, like, oh my god, like, you're in love with this guy. Yeah, this was and pretty this is, safe. This was a safe. No, it was so, like, That's what I wanted to stay away from, people who know too much. This guy was, like, honestly, I didn't pay attention most of the time because I was trying to pay attention to hers and I was falling asleep. I mean, it was fun. Like, it was something I've never done before that I wanted to try and it's definitely something you should try at least one time in your life. And but like, do your research because some people are scared. Shout out the wizard. Hum. <laughs> oh. Oh wait, did you guys hear the oh in the background? Oh. I feel better. All right. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see you guys next week.